today's video, I'm going to be renovating Styles Hair Studio in Bloxburg. So if you didn't know, I have a series on my channel where I renovate all the existing Bloxburg buildings. And so far, I've already done four buildings and Styles Hair Studio is going to be my fifth building. And I'm super excited to renovate Styles Hair Studio because as you can see, it's kind of boring at the moment. Like there's really like nothing going on besides like these four chairs and like a tiny little reception desk. So I think there's a lot of potential that we can do. As you know, I like to keep my renovations relatively similar so I don't like to go completely different. So obviously I'm going to stick with this pink and purple theme and I think I'm just going to stick to the same style which is kind of just like a one story. It also has an ATM machine on the outside so obviously I have to include that. So yeah, this is the whole hair studio, nothing special. So let's get started. And if you've been keeping up with my renovation series, you know I've already built four buildings and here they are. So where am I going to put the hair studio? I'm thinking maybe next to BFF supermarket. So I think I might add it here. I think this is like the perfect space and like measurement. Okay, I think I'm going to make it like 10 by 9 and um, I'm not sure if I want it two stories or not because the existing one is only one story but if I make it two story, I feel like that would look cool. You know what? I'm just going to try out and I want this to be the most fancy hair salon in the entirety of Bloxburg. I'm talking fancy. Okay, that might be a little bit too fancy. <laughs> okay, actually now that I'm looking at it, I think this might be too big. Okay, I'm thinking these doors for the um entryway. Is that the most extra doors you've ever seen? Probably. Now we just need like two windows on the side here. See like that. That's how wide I'm talking. And then I want the sign up here. And for that, I'm just going to use the basic shape. Kind of what I did for um ice cream. I put like a basic shape up here like that. See how it like pops out at you? Why, why are you not placing where I want you to place? Listen to me. No. Okay. If you don't listen to me right now. Thank you. Okay. That's kind of cool. Now we just paint it pink because the original hair salon is, of wait, is it pink? Actually, no, it's purple. Okay. We'll make it purple. It's like a nice purple like that. Oh, and then here it will have Styles Hair Studio. And for the outside, I'm going to put these like wide pillars on the angle just to give it more depth because I want this hair studio to look very like modern. Okay. There we go. I feel like that's a little bit better, more modern. All right, guys. You're gonna hate me, but I think I'm gonna change it to one story. I, this is just too big. Look how big this is for a hair salon. Too, way too big. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Why am I so indecisive? You know what? If you've unsubscribed to me, I don't blame you. Literally after I build something, I'm like, mm, you know what? <laughs> I actually don't want to do that. Let's change the whole thing. We can have the sign kind of coming like above the roof. See, it still works fine. Oh guys, I just realized um we need the little ATN machine that's next to it. So so, um, you know what? we'll add the little ATM machine right there. I'll just put like a decal here that says like ATM machine, um, get your money or else. Guys, how do you build an ATM machine? I guess I'm just gonna have to do my own ATM machine. Oh my god, actually it's fine. We'll just put this little computer inside of the wall. Who's gonna know? Not you. Actually, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. There we go. Little ATN machine right there. <laughs> Cute little ATN machine. We need some buttons though. A few little buttons. For the buttons, I'm just going to use these like horizontal cylinders. There we go. We have our tiny, whiny little ATN machine. We love her. Mwah. Okay, now time to work on this hair salon that is bloody taking me forever. You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to leave the outside the last bit and just work on the inside <laughs> because I think that's the most important bit of the renovation. Now, I kind of want to stick to like a modern theme so i'm thinking like um concrete marble if you didn't watch on um, my previous video i built a hair salon in Bloxburg with the new update items so i have a like i have a few ideas for what i want to do for the hair salon okay but first things first we need to add some windows in here because it is very dark and we don't like it to be dark in here it's spooky might just have like three okay so here's the game plan i'm thinking the hair salon seats can be here and then where you wash your hair can be back here but before that let's add some more trims to give this room more depth okay now for the reception desk i'm thinking maybe in the middle here and i want it to like separate the room so for this i'm gonna add some pillars like that okay i don't know if that looks silly or not so now for the counters i'm just gonna use these basic counters guys why is it not letting me play? what what are you doing what is happening right now guys why is it not letting me place calm down and just let me place the counter up please there beautiful that's my cute little reception desk and i love her you know what they missed out on the opportunity to call this style studio okay now we just need a cash register okay and maybe just add some plants to make it very welcoming beautiful okay i think that's a little reception desk i might just add like a little s here for the what, what even is this called again oh it's called styles like harry styles okay that s looks absolutely disgusting i am 
<laughs> getting rid of that i'll just add like a little photo frame oh basic shape i need you please there we go okay now for the actual hair salon i might do like the hair washing station first and what i'm gonna do is i have like a relative idea for what i want to do okay so i'm just gonna test and see if this works i'm gonna add like a relaxed sun chair and then have like um a sink so you can get your hair washed okay that works perfectly the chair lines up with the sink spot on so we don't even have to add a basic shape underneath it okay how many hair washing stations do you think i need like maybe one two yeah, I think four is the perfect number. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just add four here. Beautiful darling. Okay, now all back here, I want like a bunch of storage for um like hair supplies in that. And I feel like these glass shelves look really nice. So that's what I'm gonna add. Okay, because it is like a hair salon, I'm thinking maybe that can be the shampoo. Okay, we have hair pick comb and hair tooth comb. So maybe this shelf can be like all the hair combs like that. Okay, this shelf is just gonna be dedicated to like hair brushes and like hair combs. And then this this shelf can be dedicated to like hair gel. Premium hair gel. Ooh la la. Sounds fancy. Oh, you can't stack them for some reason. That's so annoying. Okay, that can be white hair gel and this can be, I don't know. This can be green hair gel. Is it bad that I kind of want to eat this? Like that kind of looks yummy. Okay, now this one can be for hairspray. And we can't put hairspray on the top shelf because it will literally like go through the roof. So instead, I'm just going to fill it up with more hair gel. Okay, now this one can be for like the shampoo. Oh my god, and hairbrush. I how did I nearly forget hairbrushes? Okay, here's all the shampoos. We have different color shampoos because we are psychopaths. Okay, and this is like the hair washing station. So I'm thinking maybe just add like shampoo and conditioner on here. Okay, perfect. Now, finally, we just need some towels because I mean, how are they going to dry their head? Oh my God, maybe these rolled towels like on the end. Wait, that's kind of cute. It's giving me like hotel vibes. You know how they have like rolled towels at the end of your bed? And then we'll just have like a bunch of hanging towels all along this wall. They kind of look like ghosts for some reason like if i shut the lights that looks spooky okay i think that's the hair wash station or complete and now we just need to do like the blow dry section and hairstyle section okay you know what i'm just gonna add like two counters here and then add those like fancy light up mirrors they have these ones i feel like that's typical hair salon mirrors and then on the table we'll just have some hairspray oh my god guys and of course we need some magazines like they usually have magazines on the table as you're getting your hair done actually you know what i think i might have the waiting area like in here so I'm just gonna keep it like relatively similar. There we go. So that area can be kind of like where you get your hair styled. Okay, so I'm kind of just gonna add the same concept, but instead of like hair gel and hair brushes, I can add like blow dryers and that. I think I might add like some more shelves up here because that's what they usually have. Okay, I think that's cute. I don't want to go overboard and add like too many things, but I think that's kind of cute. Just realized that I don't have any curtains though, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Also, I need to add like a little waiting area here, like a little sitting area if you're like waiting for your hair to dry oh my gosh i actually haven't got my hair done in like a long while i'd usually cut my hair like trim it every eight weeks but guys my hair is gotten so long and i only cut it once a year yes i know i only cut my hair once a year but it's literally the longest it's ever been so if you want to grow your hair out actually what hairs do i want to use i feel like these kind of go with the theme you know i might add like two here but yeah what i was saying is that if you want to grow your hair out i know everyone's like trim it trim it my hair looks so healthy and the ends don't even look like dead you, all you have to do to keep the ends healthy is um oil them so invest in a good oil and then every time you wash your hair oil it afterwards like put a nice oil on the end and it will look so pretty unless you want to cut it and cut your hair <laughs> i'm just gonna do my famous custom made coffee table that everyone knows and loves <gasps> wait i changed my mind um i want to use this coffee table instead <gasps> wait these are kind of cute wait why have i not seen them before and i feel like we need a tv in here because i mean while you're waiting to get your hair done it's gonna be a little bit boring so maybe a tv right there um but as you can see it is very white and very modern and very boring and guys we want to stick to the same theme that uh the original blocksburg hair salon is and that is pink that's like i think it's like a baby pink or something yeah, as you can see, it's pink inside. There we go. I feel like that wall for the feature wall is kind of good. Now we have to fix the lighting because as you can see, very, very spooky, very dark in here. Oh, maybe in the middle here. That kind of looks cool. You can kind of see the TV. So I might add some like vines or plants. There we go. She kind of looking a little bit fancy or whatever. Okay, see these inserts? I've been obsessed with them lately because they look so cool. You add the inserts like that. And um, what I usually do is I put some LED lights around like the corner. See, look, like, look how sick that looks. 
little build hack for you. Okay, I feel like that's good for the inside. Now we just have to fix up the outside. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to fix up the decals, do some finishing touches, and then I shall give you a little tour. All right, guys, Styles Hair Studio is finally complete. And I think it turned out amazing. So of course, I just made my own decals. So it matched with the original Styles Hair Studio. I decided to add like a little outdoor seating area just in case you want to read a book while you're waiting for your hair to dry. And of course, I couldn't forget about our iconic ATM machine. I'm pretty sure you can actually use the ATM. Yeah, you can actually use it. See, this is pretty cool. I thought this was like a cool little idea. But here's where the fun begins. I added these massive doors that lead on the inside. And here is the reception desk. So of course, when I have my city opening, one of you guys will be working behind the reception desk at the new hair studio. Guys, this can be your job. All you have to do is subscribe. But yeah, this is a cute reception desk. I decided to add like a phone to make appointments and a little coffee machine just in case some of the customers want a coffee while they're waiting to get their hair done. And over here, I just kind of kept it simple. Just like a little blow drying station. You know what I just realized? I've never used this hair straightener in Bloxburg. Then of course, I just added a bunch more shelves. So I don't know about you, but I think we are stacked on hairspray. And I just added some bins as well. And then here's the waiting area. I don't know why this light is so bright. It kind of looks better without the light, to be honest. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. And of course, I had to add a TV just in case you want to sit here get your hair washed and like watch the tv you can and then here's the hair washing station so i haven't tested to see if this works but um uh, i mean yeah it pretty much works you just need two people so someone will come over here turn on the sink and then you will like sit here and get your hair washed pretty cool and of course we have a bunch of supplies and i also added a broom just in case you need to swipe up some hair you know but yeah honestly i kind of like the way it turned out it was different anyway guys that was me renovating the blocksburg hair salon if you want to see me renovate the next blocksburg building make sure you hit subscribe i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one bye